Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm originally from Trumbull, Connecticut, and then I just spent the last four years in Boston, attending Boston University. I majored in public relations with a minor in business, and now I'm currently serving at North High School in a ninth grade math classroom. And then I'm here with my roommate today. Yep. Hi, I'm Joey. Um, I'm originally from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I went to Boston College my freshman year. Sucks to be you. Boo. Um, it's a better school, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, and then I actually transferred to Pepperdine University um, in Malibu, California, um, where I spent the last three years. Um, and I am currently serving at Hill Middle School, uh, which is in southeast Denver, and I'm in an eighth grade classroom. So at North, I get to school at about 7.15 every day, um, where we start off with our first circle, share ripples, joys, and appreciations, and then we transition into morning greeting, um, where we just greet the students at the door, we play music, dance around a little bit if we're feeling it that day. Um, and then at 8 o'clock, we transition to first period. First through third period, I spend with my partner teacher upstairs in our math classroom, um, doing whole classroom support and group pullouts with my students, especially on my focus list. Um, then after third, I have a planning period, and then we do lunch, um, where we spend time in the cafeteria with our students. We just hang out with them, play games, whatever they want to do. Um, and then after that, I have fifth and sixth period back with my same partner teacher, and then seventh off. And then after school, we have um, like a tutoring space where a lot of students will come in and hang out with us, whether or not they need homework help, um, help them with that if they want it. And then um, in the spring, I was actually starting to coach um, JV girls soccer as well, which was really cool until everything happened with the virus. <laughs> so I'm sad I missed them, but it was good. And um, so then after our students leave around 4.45, we have about half an hour left of time to just like get stuff done for city year or north or class, whatever we need to do. And then we have final circle and head home for the day. And so at Hill, we take things a little bit more seriously, uh, and we get to school at 7 a.m., not 7.15. Um, and then we have uh, um, ripples, joys, and appreciations, and we talk about what we're going to do for the day um, and what the upcoming week looks like um, before we head outside uh, to morning greeting. Um, but at Hill, we do morning greeting throughout the entire school, so my spot is on the blacktop um, where there's a bunch of basketball courts, and I get to play... Uh, shoot some hoops in the morning with some of my students and hang out with them. I um, mean, it's a nice way to get to see how students are like feeling before going into class. Um, and then we transition into um, my first and second period um, where I am in eighth grade math classroom um, and I help out with small groups, um, especially with my focus list. Um, and I also help out with, um, we sometimes pull out to different classrooms to do different lessons. Um, and then after that, I transition to three, four, uh, which is the same partner teacher. Um, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, and then we go to lunch. Um, my spot is again on the blacktop, um, and I get to play sports with kids again. So it's a lot of that, which is fun. Um, and then we go back to uh, 8, 9, uh, after we have lunch. Um, we go back to 8, 9 um, for our last class of the day, and I'm in it with a different part partner teacher um, for math class again. Um, and then we transition to tutoring where like 30 to 40 kids come most days. Um, we get to hang out with them and help them out with their homework um, and just talk with them. And a lot of the times I'm coaching different sports like basketball or football or soccer. Um, and so I usually take a day or two um, to hang out with and coach uh, those sports as well. And then after that, we have about an hour to work on stuff for city year and then we final circle and get to go home. So Hill is really unique um, because the entire school is focused, uh, or at least the city year, is entirely focused on math. So we're in all different math classes from 6th to 8th grade, um, and we put a big emphasis on that. Um, and the school also has a thing called Math 360, where they have whiteboards all the way around um, the room. So each student gets to work um, on their own whiteboard, and we do most of our lessons there. Um, so it's actually really fun to help kids that way because there's a lot of practice involved. Um, and it's just a really, really cool opportunity. Um, Hill's also a really big middle school. There's like about 850 kids um, in it. So it's one of the largest um, middle schools partnerships I think that we have. Um, so that's pretty fun. Well, I think North is better. <laughs> For those of you who might not be really into math, we actually support all subject areas this year. So I'm in math. Um, 
and then two of my teammates are in an ELA class. Um, two of them are in biology, and then one is in geography. So we do cover a whole bunch of different um, subject areas, which is really fun to be able to talk to them. And then when we support students in the afternoon, we have like someone to cover every subject, which is really nice. Um, additionally, North is one of, or is City Year's, City Year Denver's oldest partnerships. Um, so we have deep roots in North High School. I think it's our seventh or eighth year now. Um, and also, I don't know if anyone has ever looked up North High School, but it is a beautiful building. I always go to work and I feel like I'm in like an old castle. It's really cool. Joey's seen it too. Yeah, it's really test. cool. Yeah. And the other, only other thing I was going to say is, although we focus on math in classrooms, um, in tutoring, you get to do a lot of every subject. So we have English majors and art majors and I was a biology major, um, at our, on our city or team. So we all like split up and do, uh, fun things in tutoring. As well. Mm, just trying to make Hill seem better than North. I see how it is. it is. It's not. Yep. Don't listen to him. Well, I think a challenge that I've overcome, and I know a lot of um, other people in City Year have had struggles with this year, is your partnership with your partner teacher. It can be a little hard to navigate at times. Um, my partner teacher has some really strict classroom rules that I don't always necessarily agree with. Um, but I have been able to navigate that relationship this year pretty easily. Um, my senior core member, Joy, and my IM, Tom, have been incredibly helpful in supporting me through that. And um, if there's ever any issues, they're so easy to lean on. Um, and I think it's also made me a lot better um, just being able to move on from this year with that experience of navigating a hard work relationship, um, I think has better prepared me for the rest of my career. Yeah, and same with me, actually. Um, one of the things that I've overcome is working with two first-year partner teachers, um, and so they had very little idea of how they wanted to run their classroom or what they wanted to do, um, so it was fairly chaotic, um, and they were struggling as well. Um, so navigating that and trying to figure out where my place in the classroom is. Um, but yes, like Olivia said, talking with um, my SCM, my IM, they both um, served uh, throughout different places, uh, across the U.S., so that was really helpful um, to hear their experience. Um, and one of my partner teachers actually uh, quit midway through the year, um, so I had to work with a long-term sub and trying to figure out that as well, um, and keeping the relationships with students um, and making sure that they're still learning. So that was really beneficial for me um, in order to like uh, just navigate a lot of different um, experiences with teachers um, and mentors and uh, bosses. So that was actually a really good opportunity for me. Definitely some of my favorite memories throughout City Year uh, have been related to working with students uh, outside of the classroom. Um, so one of the, the fun things that I got to do, um, I coached so many sports from football, basketball, baseball, soccer, um, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Um, but just getting to see students in a different light, um, um, and getting to play sports with them and where they let their guard down and just have fun. Um, that's just one of the best experiences that I would definitely recommend. Um, even in the mornings when I got to play basketball with them and beat them in one-on-one -on -one or something like that. Um, it was really fun. Um, and one of the other things that we got to do um, was in tutoring and in math, we got to host a math initiative for Pi Day. Um, and that culminated in six students getting to Pi City Years. And so getting pied in the face with all of my uh, coworkers was really fun. Actually, Joey and I are both math coordinators for our coordinator roles in City Year. And so I totally stole his idea and also did a Pi Day initiative at North. So um, me and one of the other City Years and my partner teacher all got pied in the face. Um, and then I think one of my favorite memories aside from Pi Day was um, for City Year Heroes. Um, so City Year Heroes is an event where we... Um, each get to recognize a few students based on their attendance, behavior, academic performance for the semester. So we have one in the fall and then we're supposed to have one in the spring. Um, obviously, I think my team is going to try and do a virtual one. Mm -hmm. I don't know about so, you. Yeah, yeah, so are we. Um, but anyway, so for City or Heroes, I got, um, in the fall, my team, we each picked two students. And so when I got to tell those two students that I chose that I picked them for an award and I needed to like take a picture of them for the like award they were getting just like 
the look on their faces were priceless. It was, like, mm-hmm. one of the most special moments, I think, of my entire year. Um, just, like, seeing those students who aren't typically recognized get recognized was amazing. Okay, so one of the things that I think is really important in the transition to Denver um, and two of the things that really helped us um, is finding a good apartment. Um, and that's part of using Brenna's housing resources. That's really helpful um, because Denver is so spread out. Um, and so the closer you can live to downtown or in a, a fun area with a lot of other city or members, um, that makes it a lot better. Um, and also living with city or roommates really helps too because you can talk about your experiences um, and they understand what you're going through um, in a whole other way that no one else really can. Yeah, it's been really nice just being able to come home from school. And then, um, so me and Joey work at different schools. And then we have a third roommate as well, Sydney. And she works at a different school as well. Mm-hmm. And so we just come home at night and we can compare notes. And if we had a really tough day, like they totally understand what I've been going through or I understand what they've been going through. And so just having that to relate about is like so nice. Mm-hmm. And also on training days, like L&D or... Um, other service days that are kind of outside of school then you can carpool with them Mm -hmm. um, which is really nice because parking around the office is like not my favorite Um, so it's really nice to have other people to be with Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah Brenna's housing resources are super super helpful and I definitely recommend looking at them and then using the slack to try and find roommates I know there's a roommates channel Um, that's how we found each other Mm -hmm. so super helpful Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, it's also helpful to have a car um, if you live outside of the city. The public transportation is pretty good, um, and City Year does a great job of providing bus passes um, for core members. But if you do have a car, that is really useful, especially to get out when you want to go to the mountains or want to go hiking. Um, and we've done a lot of that too, which is yeah, fun. Yeah, hiking and then definitely skiing. I have had like so much fun getting to ski here. Um, being from the East Coast, the skiing there is just like nothing compared to this I'm like so spoiled now um but yeah I don't don't know what I would do without a car I was initially planning on not having one um but I'm so glad that I ended up being able to work that out um I have a few friends here who don't have cars and so I'm always like picking them up and like driving them into the mountains with me and so I am so thankful for my car and then driving to training days too is super nice Mm -hmm. Um, I guess our last piece of advice would be to drink a lot of water. Um, It's really dry here compared to like living on the coast. So um, we have been actually lately at home um, doing like a staying hydrated thing where we each have to drink three water bottles a day. Mm -hmm. And if we don't, then our days since dehydration count goes back to zero. So we're on day like nine, I think. Yeah, nine Yeah, so pretty good. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. But yeah, drink lots of water. Yeah. Good luck. Bye. Bye.